Why have I called this one, two, three model of self and social approval? One stands for one on one. When you find yourself in quadrant two, you find yourself in quadrant three, you find yourself in quadrant four, just need to use these basic tools. One on one is about internal assessment. Talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. What is it that I need to do differently? How else can I do what I'm doing? How else can I lead other than the way I'm leading right now? That is a self-assessment that every leader needs to have when it is time to make an improvement. That's one-on-one. -on -one. When you have two, two simply stands for external assessment, do you have a confident who can talk to you? It doesn't matter how you feel, but talk to you straight. Look you straight in the eyes and say, you're not getting this right. Look you straight in the eyes and say, that decision was wrong. Did you consider this? Could you have done the other way? As a leader, you need this sort of confidence. And that confidence is the one that will put your feet on the ground all the time. When you tend to put your head in the cloud, that it is the job of that confidence to pull you down and to make sure that you are focused. You don't need, oh yes, people all around you. You don't need psychophants. You don't need people because of what they will get around you, hanging around you all the time. You don't need that as a leader, but they will always be there. But you are actually looking for somebody you can confide in and say, this is how I feel about this. This is what I'm thinking about this. This is the action I intend to take here. And the person will be able to evaluate that whatever course of action you want to take and take you on on it, evaluate it with you. It's called external evaluation. That's the two. One, two, three model of self and social approval. The three there is about getting beyond yourself, getting beyond your confidence to assess other kinds of help. And these other kinds of help can be, is it possible that what you are providing is no longer what is needed by the public? Is it possible you need to update your knowledge? And to do that, you need to attend conferences. You need to attend seminars. You need to do some research. You need to get a life coach. You need to get mentors. You need to get coaches. All these various aspects of health is what is referred in this model as three. So one is one-on-one -on -one to yourself, internal assessment. Two is the external assessment by a confident. The third one is assessing health through various, various means, like hiring a life coach, like having a mentor, like having a coach, like attending conferences and seminars. These are important tools to use in order to regulate your public reputation, in order to get your reputation going. I want you to know, like everyone else, that 
what you are going through as a leader is not peculiar to you. Every leader goes through these four quadrants. You may not start from quadrant one. You may not start from quadrant two or even quadrant three. You might start from quadrant four and you have to walk yourself back Different leaders are at different parts of this quadrant. Depending on where you were at this moment, if you follow this simple principle that this model provides, you'll be able to walk yourself back. If William Blake probably knew this, or if David Torre knew this, or if Kennedy too knew this, the outcome of their lives might be different. The whole idea about these three gentlemen, and more, like I said, you will find in my book, is that when they are dead, their works became alive. Every leader wants to read the Confederation of Dances. Every leader wants to read the work by William Blake now. Every leader wants to read from Torrey. Their works are monumental, but while they were alive, they did not get the benefit of recognizing. Their works have been recognized on international levels and have won so many awards posthumously. But you can do yours while you are still alive. You can be recognized for the value and the contribution you're making for the society where you are. I would ask you to take these four quadrants carefully, walk through them, and you will be able to manage your reputation. Thank you.